Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for another video. Um, <clears throat> you can see this is the building we have that we've been working on. These are the picture windows we cut in last week. This week I want to tackle making the awning that's going to go across these front windows here. Um, and then I have some surprises that are going to happen later on that we're going to do with this. Uh, but for right now, all I'm going to do for this video is we're going to build this awning. And, and I have to build it so that I can add lights to it. All right. So let's get started on this. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to put the awning so that it rests between this pillar here and this pillar over here. So just covering this area. And before I go any further, let me just mention this front door area. I've gone back and forth with this as I've been working on this and I've come to the, to the conclusion this morning. Originally I was going to build a framed opening like I've done in some of the other ones and divide it up with strip and all that. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think what's going to happen with this doorway is I'm going to build this the same way as I did the doors in the used car dealer. Um, and if you don't know what those look like, you can go back in the videos. Um, as a matter of fact, right up above the screen there, you up, up there's a thing. It'll take you to that videos uh, to, the, to the videos where I did this doorway. So. In that being done, I'm not going to do anything with this opening. I can't add these until the whole building is painted. So that being said, we can move on with this awning. Um, what I need to do is I need to get my plastic. Now I've already taken sheets out. So this is 40 thousandths uh, sheet that I have, again, out of the scrap bin. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this in the front of the building and I'm going to line it up. I'm lining it up right to the edge of this piece right here, this pillar, and I'm going to put it to the edge of this pillar. And I want to put a pencil mark on that. And that's going to give me the overall length. Now, I could measure it, but I find myself a little more accurate when I do it this way. So this is how I'm going to do it. And we're going to put a pencil mark right there. Okay, so we need this length. It's actually going to be shorter than that, but we'll get into that. So now, the sidewalk I use is half inch squares, right? So each of these squares is a half an inch. So I'm going to use a double square in front of the building. So when you're looking at it, the building gets on the sidewalk like this, and then the sidewalk comes all the way out to here. Now that's one full inch. I don't want the awning to be all the way out to the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this awning three quarters of an inch wide. So it'll be a quarter of an inch. So it'll come out from right here out to about, oh, roughly right here. So let's measure that out, three quarters of an inch. And actually, that side I'm going to cut off. We're going to cut that. So three quarters. We have a mark there. And then we'll come over on this side. And we'll do another one for three quarters. Right there. And then we're going to cut that off. So I'm going to use this as my straight edge. Now, like I've done in, in every other video, when I'm, when I'm cutting styrene like this, long lengths and I need a straight cut, I'm going to put this down and I'm going to clamp the straight edge right to the ruler. Right, right to the, clamp everything right down to the table. We'll just score that, cut it. So now this is the width of our awning. Now I'm also going to take my flat edge here, my flat blade, and I'm just going to run this down all the sides because we're going to start working with this right away. Okay. 
now we've got a nice flat piece so now we're looking at this when we put it down on here so we put it right up to the edge of our sidewalks here so this edge and the awning will come out that far it's going to cover that much and there'll be this much sidewalk we'll have this quarter inch of sidewalk still exposed after the awning which is exactly what i'm looking for okay so obviously you can tell this awning isn't going to be ginormous it's just a short awning overhang that i want to add now to border this out with i'm going to use and i've gone back and forth with this as well i'm going to use this corrugated styrene that i have um, i've used this on where did i use this uh the a and w restaurant that i built except it was a bigger corrugation um, i'm going to use a smaller size corrugation across this and this has to go this way so this will fit now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this awning front side um, I don't know what you want to call it, but the side that, that the, the edge that comes up I'm gonna make it kind of high and you're probably not gonna like the way it's going Because you you know ideally it's 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 not really to scale the height that I'm doing this It's a little bit higher than it probably needs to be but I have a reason for that there, there's something that's gonna go on this roof that I need to have that extra space for it. And I'm not gonna talk too much about it in this one, in this video, but you know, just so you know, there's, there's a reason for it. Um, so this is the strip that I had for this. This is what I was gonna use. So it's this wide. This is actually, uh, it's about 7 sixteenths of an inch. So. I'm going to take this and I'm going to actually bring it down. So 7 16 is right here. I'm going to go one less like this. And this is our cut line and this is where it's going to ride. So I need to do two of these. And to cut this stuff, we don't I don't need to clamp it and score it because it's corrugated. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to run it right down like this two passes more than enough and then I'm gonna take one more I'm gonna cut another one because this will cover the front side okay so then this one you can see at this end we're a little bit off this end we're good all the way we're, we're good with this all the way down to about right here but i only need two edges of it right here and right here so it should be fine this one is actually perfect now this stuff here i would like to glue it to a little backing because you can see this is very flexible it's it's, it's really too thin so i'm going to take that those two pieces and I'm gonna glue them, I think, to this. This is 20 thousandths. And this this uh, corrugated is 10 thousandths. So I'm gonna glue one to this side, I'm gonna glue one to that side, and then I'm gonna cut this again. Um, and that's gonna be our strips to line this. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glue, and while, I'm, while I got the glue out, it, it reminds me, somebody had asked a question about what kind of glue I find is best for these DPM kits. Um, I use, uh, the bottle says 10X7, it's, it's, that's not what's in here, and I'm, I don't want to promote what I'm using. It's not a big mystery. If you want to know, you can email me or ask me in the videos, and I'll, I'll work something with you. But any of the glues you can buy in the stores, um, will work uh, the liquid glues because what those do is they actually melt the styrene and they work awesomely on styrene so I hope that that answers that question
So we'll let that dry up a little bit. We want it to just dry out. I want this to harden. You can see if I touch it, I get my fingerprints in it. So we'll let that dry up for a few minutes. Um, when this dries, I'm gonna cut these out and then we'll move on with building this whole thing. Okay, so I have both pieces cut. So this is the good straight one right here. This is gonna go on the front half, on the front side. And then this piece will cut pieces off to do the two ends. But we're back to this piece here. So this piece here, this is the full length, right? So what I need to do is I need to come in here and I'm gonna put both of these together. Now, I'm not good at measuring things and I just do things by eye. Uh, I usually do my best work like that. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna mark like that. That's the thickness of both pieces together. Now, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna draw the line straight across like that. That's the cut we need to make. Doesn't take a lot of passes on this 40 thousandths. Now this edge here, this is our cut edge. I'm just gonna take off that little extra bit of styrene like that. Now, one of these strips is gonna go across the front like this. But what I want is I want a little bit of a, of a reveal on the bottom. So I want this to be pushed up just a little bit like that so that I have a little bit of an overhang down below. So in order to get that, I'm gonna take a piece of 60,000 styrene. Let me get that out of my bin. Here's a piece of 60,000 scrap from my bin. Um, what I'm gonna do, yeah. So I wanna make sure I'm doing the right one, is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run this just over the edge of the 60 thousandths. I'm gonna take this and this is gonna sit right here and then we'll glue it in place just like this. And that will give us a 60 thousandths reveal on the roof. But before I do that, I need to cut this to size. Now that, if you look at it close up, you can kind of see what I'm going for, see? We have this little bit of a, of a reveal down here. It, it just hangs down a little further. That's what I'm looking for. And using the 60,000 styrene allows me to get those pieces in there right where I want them. Now this piece here, I'm actually gonna cut pieces off of this and I'm going to cut them long. Okay, so we have this one. I'm going to turn this this way and we're just going to put this right across the front. Okay, so now we have our awning. Now, <clears throat> I know that there are people who are gonna say, oh, well, that's not the scale. That's way higher than any, any awning would be. Now, I'm gonna say it one more time. I have plans and these, what I'm gonna do with this roof here requires it. I mean, normally I would have cut this down probably about oh like right here and that would have been good enough i need this extra room to do what i want to do um but again i'm not going to get into that today we just want to get this attached so while this is drying 
we need to tackle the building here. Now, the, the awning is going to attach to this trim piece right here. Okay, So these are in the way, so we need to get rid of all of those. So what that requires is the flat blade here. I'm going to come through here and just carefully take those off. So now this has to go on top of there. So this is going to fit here. I'm going to align this base right to the bottom of this right here, all the way across. So the windows, this trim mark here, is fully below the windows. But before I do that, I need to drill some holes because we're going to light this. I want some lights when, when this is sitting on here, like this. Okay, I want some lights shining down onto the sidewalk underneath it. So, I'm going to take this and I'm going to measure. I want the lights. We're going to go half an inch in. So we're in a half an inch on either side. So we need to figure out what's left. So if we go an inch, inch and a quarter, and an inch and a quarter. I think that's a fairly good split. So we put one, two, three, four bolts. So now we're going to take this. And now I want them centered from front to back, so we're going to do that. So that's all the points we're going to put holes. Now the holes, I'm going to drill kind of smaller holes. I'm not getting real, real big with them. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking a 3 16 hole... Yeah, I think a 3 16 hole. I think I may even go a little bit small. No, 3 16 I want as much light coming down through there as I can. Now, this is a little bit big for my pin vise, so I'm just going to hold this in my hand. And I'm going to drill the holes. So that's one. And I'll just continue drilling the rest of the four holes. Okay, so now all the holes are drilled. You can see them right there. These are where the lights are going to go when this is on the building. So we'll have four lights uh, shining down. And now the only thing I need to take care of is these little corners here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a file. I'm not getting crazy with it, but I'm going to take a file and I'm just going to file these edges over just a little bit because I want to carry as much of the um, corrugated pattern right around to the front so that they look like they're all together and I will take the file and just kind of round that into the corners just a little bit I, I, and I'm not going to do a lot you're not going to get this perfect now, if you're using a heavier corrugation, um, you can actually take the file, which is what I did on the A&W, and you can cut those corrugations right around the corner, and it'll be fine. It'll, it'll look really good. Um, this corrugation is too small for that. So the next thing to do would be to attach this to the front. It's going to go right here. So what I'm doing is I'm lining this bottom edge to the bottom of this molding right here. So it's going to go right to there. Actually, I think I'm going to run, I'm going to... <laughs> I 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to notch this. I'm going to take my file and I'm, I marked off where all the, all the columns are. So I have to take this a little bit at a time, okay? So this has to go in, I have to hold it down, let it set, and then we'll go on to the next section. All right, so I just took the clamps off. I had to clamp this for a little bit. And this is our awning, so this is what it looks like. So we're gonna have the, the four lights underneath, and this will sit in like that. It actually looks a little bit better than I thought it was gonna, being as wide as this is. I don't think it looks all that bad. Um, so I think we're gonna go ahead with it. I'm just readjusting before this glue sets completely exactly I, I, I want to make sure because once this sets there's no moving it it's starting to really harden up now just want to make sure it's straight yeah. yeah so that goes like that and there you go that's that's as far as we're gonna go for today because now this needs to harden before we can go on to the next part and I, and I think actually the next part um, I, I think what we're going to do is we're going to paint this whole thing because the next is to do the windows. Um, I have a plan for these windows here. I'm not going to do an interior through these windows. There's just too many of them. Um, and I have something that's going to go here. I, I have a an idea for a sign that's going to sit right up here. Um, actually, I think I can show you... I made a prototype of a sign. So this is going to be Higby's department store. So what I have is this right here. Now this is cut out of paper, but this is gonna go right up here like this, and it's gonna say Higby's, okay? But it's gonna be up front here, just like in Christmas Story, but the cool thing is these are going to be lit, okay? This is just something I was messing around with on paper. And I will get into that in another video. But yeah, they're going to be lit letters sitting up in the front. That's why I need the height on this. So anyway, stay tuned for that. That's coming. Um, so that's it for this week. Um, if you just found me for the first time and you're watching, please, by all means, subscribe to the channel. Love to have you along. Um, don't forget to like and share my videos. And uh, until next time, happy modeling.